So what we will do, what we will create one RDD from by using a parallelized method and we will create RDD from a file or directory in HTTPS. Okay. And then we will do the persistence. This is our data. We can use any of them. This will work both of work in the similar way. Here you can use a direct cache or persist memory only. But persist can have a multiple level operations. You can perform any of them. But cache you can use a directly. And then we will perform some spark operations, transformation operations on RDD. And then we will do the actions. So firstly, let me create a data first. To have spam data. Okay. It's a huge I can use it. Firstly, let me upload that data <coughs> to HDFS. I'm using a spark shell here. So if I'm using a spark shell directly, it will use yarn. Yeah. Suppose I have to use local because Mesos is not installed here, then I can use a hyphen hyphen master operation. Okay, let me show you. Another window. News, Spark Shell, Hyphen Hyphen Master, then Broken. And I can also give number of cores. Okay, suppose I have to use a four cores, then I will give a four. I need to check directly use a four there. So it is now my cluster manager is local. Okay, that you will see here. Master is equal to local. There, master client, yarn client. Okay, so this is the difference. Now I'm loading that data. So data is a alias, okay, and uh, well is used for uh, immutable data that you are not going to change. If if you are going to have a variable which are repeatedly changing, then you can use a where there. C dot. I do have this operation, so I can use parallelize either. Okay. I 
analyze method and I have to give the type type of human data it can be your uh, any of collection it can be your array it can be your hash map okay so I got this information data is my uh, alias and the RDD is created with the int as a data type array of int so array which is then the integer values only so I haven't provided any of integer value here as we are doing with the Java it will automatically take on the basis of the value given now I am doing action by using collect to see all over the data. <coughs> so here the driver return is, is this is now array printed to driver. Okay. Suppose I am storing this value in a particular result variable. So result res is stored in driver memory, not in distributed memory. Now the next operation I'm doing with by loading the data from I'm using text file and providing the path. If I'm lo loading that data from local, then I have to use a file. Okay, by this way. If I'm loading from HDFS, then I will provide HDFS slash. We can give here name node. Well the name node IP address or and then port okay but I am not using HDFS federation here that means not using a multiple name node here so I can give directly then then spam Okay, it's now loaded. Now I can do the operation action on that. It's huge data, so I will do the count here to count the lines. So you you see that by you using the transformation, it just added that. But when I'm triggering that uh, action here, I'm using action function there, count take, collect, or save as text file, it will take time for computation that. So this is a long value, long as type, okay, and uh, having the, all of the lines count, so 4600. So now what I'm doing here, I'm, I will do small operation, just making a word count just to check the functionality what I'll do there I have to store that also and I can use a series of operation in the one line data dot map I'm using a flat map So this is a way how you can write the lambda functions. A dot split. So I'm splitting by space. So any of space will be there. So it will return an array. Okay. Suppose I have one space, two space, three space, four. Then it 
it will return an array which contain four items, one, two, three, four. So on the basis of space, it was split by lines. And then I'm using a map to delete every word. Okay. Uh, using a key and value to making the key and value. Key as a word can be your number, comma, one. And then I'm storing that to cache. Okay. So now, so this is why how I can use a cache. I have stored my intermediate data in memory so that I can make operations so this operation I have already performed so I am now using a reduce by key for making a count of word but count you can write there dot collect or I can use a take because that is too huge I have now the count 2.1 and the number of count. So this is a word and this is a value. Now I want to store so I can also use this operation here and I need to decide. Okay. Yeah, suppose I want to join it with another table, then I, I will prefer to cache it. Okay. Then I need to store it. I want to store it as a text file and here I am providing the... So this is very important because if you guys are preparing for CC exam, then you have to do all of the things practically. And I'm storing here um, span that output. Okay, it's transformed and stored. Now we will check the data. So my data is was split into two partition. So two of partition, two of output files has been created. very basic example. Any doubt in this? And we have covered, I guess all over them, all of the operations we have covered. Assist. 
try it. Okay. <coughs> we haven't used a persist one. We have used a cache. Can you start? It is stored into in memory. Let me check why it is not working. I'll check that. So by default, it is using the memory only. So, processor is working without any operation. So, I will upload assignments for you, okay, for making these type of operations. I will include these operations which I mentioned there. And uh, you need to perform some operations. This is a word count example, but I will give you another one. And with the data set, I will also provide. And you need to do some transformation, basically pre processing your data. And then you have to load it to mem memory. And then you have to save it to disk. <coughs> 